Welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In our last lesson we've learned how to initially set up our trading software. So in this lesson we're going to focus on the more specific characteristics that any trading platform should have no matter who your broker is. So remember just a couple of things uh, even though um, there are many different brokers offering different platforms things or display rather will look different uh, but the actual platforms itself and the characteristics are exactly the same. Uh, but if you want to know or if you want to have a look at the type of brokers and choose which brokers you would like to use for yourself for either a demo or a trading or a live trading account then just go to capexforextrading.com forward slash forex brokers and you will see uh, a list of brokers there now moving on so what we've got here is our chart so I'm just going to uh, increase that to a single frame so as we mentioned before by simply um, having a list on the left hand side here of all the currency pairs we're able to simply drag any currency pair into our chart and um, and uh, basically display any currency pair that we wish um, now it's up to you how you want to place your order uh, you can either right click and choose an option in the menu that appears you can go click the new order button here choose your currency pair from the drop down menu and then sell or buy accordingly now those two options are probably more relevant to people who are not really uh, considering speed they're trading much longer time frames but if you are trading in lower time frames the speed is of an essence by clicking this arrow button here you see this button there it will display um, a little trading panel with buttons to, to simply sell or buy and you can do that within one click now in terms of preference it's up to you but we like to trade with candlesticks but by clicking this button here you can have display a bar chart or a line chart it's completely up to you uh, but we're going to keep this uh, and all the way throughout our forex trading course we're going to keep them as candlestick charts you can also zoom in and out uh, quite far by clicking those self-explanatory buttons there um, you can also change different time frames so we've got one hour four hour daily we've got 15 minute time frame it all depends on your forex strategy so make sure that obviously you accommodate for that um, and then this little section here uh, we've got a little cross um, cross function where you can reference prices on the right hand side here uh, with the time at the bottom there you can also draw lines vertically you can also draw lines horizontally which is obviously great for uh, support and resistance which which going, which we're going to talk about later uh, and just by double clicking those lines you can move them because initially you can't move them so if I double click it again you can see that I can't move this line but if I double click it then it can be moved um, then you can also draw obviously um, lines in this manner uh, pointing in a downwards direction or lines pointing in an upwards direction and if I double click it again you will see one two three points off the line uh, which, so I can if move that across at the top part I can move it down on the bottom part or in the middle I can move the whole line uh, up or down okay so just have a little play around and you will see how easy it is to operate this kind of charting software um, let me just delete this because it's getting a bit messy now um, next what we've got is simply a chart uh, sorry uh, um, a channel uh, functionality so I can draw an equal distance channel just by drawing one line um, and then obviously you've got your Fibonacci your text you can draw arrows on there etc so we're not I'm not going to go through all of them so you'll have to kind of play around with them yourself um, so if you're choosing let's say these eight currency pairs to stay in your trading um, in your trading platform then you can right click into the um, currency pairs on the left hand side and click hide all that will hide every single chart unless it is displayed here okay if you want to change it with currency pair that's not listed in the left hand side here then simply right click again and go to show all and then choose which currency pair you'd like to uh, you like to choose okay uh, but I'm just going to hide all for now because it can be quite distracting if all of them are kind of moving and going from blue to red on the left hand side back into our chart we want to display some indicators okay so uh, by clicking insert in the menu at the top you can see that there are indicators listed all across here okay so that you can choose them by trend oscillators volumes and various other 
uh, various other kind of brackets. But realistically, um, obviously, this will depend on the trading strategy that you use. Um, so not everyone's going to use the same indicators. But we're going to talk about this a lot further, in, in more detail rather, uh, the more um, into our Forex trading course we go into. And by simply scrolling uh, your mouse button as well, you can choose, you can go back in time. Uh, you'll have to take the auto scroll off though to do that, okay? So if I do this, I'm scrolling down, the chart moves back in time. But if I scroll my mouse wheel up, it's going to go back onto, uh, back forward into time. But if you have auto scroll on and you scroll down with your mouse, it will just be there for a couple of seconds and then it should yeah it should uh, move back to the uh, to the original time frame that we were looking at okay so basically if you just play around with these charts you will get much more of a feel about you know what it can do how it can work with you and make sure that all your settings are correct before you start trading okay so again any comments or any questions just let us know and we shall speak to you in the next video thank you